If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, find a closed form for the sum from k equals zero to n of negative one to the k times n choose k squared. Smash that like button and let's get started. So we should start by describing what this counts, ignoring the sign. So n choose k squared is equal to the number of subsets, which I'll call a and b, subsets of n, the one, numbers one through n, such that the size of a is equal to the size of b, and that's equal to k. Right? It's not that hard to, to see that. And so let's let A and B be two subsets that satisfy this property. So we'll let A and B be subsets of the numbers one through N with the size of A equal to the size of B equal to K for some fixed K. And then we'll let I be the smallest. Okay, so that's key is we have to make sure we, we know how to find I. I is the smallest number such that i is in both sets, so i is in the intersection, or i is in neither sets, so i is not in the union of the two sets. Okay, so just for example, so we could see this, if n is equal to five and a is equal to the set 1, 4, 5, and b is equal to the set 2, 3, 4. Well, i is the smallest number that's either in both or in neither, and so we could see that i equals 4 in this case. Something to note is it's possible that no such i exists. Okay, so maybe you got to think through that a little bit. But it is possible that there is no such i. So let's just see an example of that. So if we have n equals 4, and a is the subset 1, 4, and b is the subset 2, 3, there's no number that's in both or in neither. Every number is in, ex is in exactly one of these uh, sets. So let's let the map phi, so let phi be the map defined as follows. Phi maps the sets a, b to, and now there's going to be a few cases. It maps a, b to a union i, b union i. If i was not in either of them. So if I was not in the union of A and B, and again, I is the same I as above, it maps AB to A without I, B without I, if I was in both A and B, so if I was in the intersection. And it maps AB to itself if there is no such I. So if I doesn't exist, like we saw in the previous example, phi of AB would just be AB. So just, again, for clarity, phi of 1, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, we found that I was equal to 4. So what does phi do? It removes I from both sets. So what we'd get is 1, 5, 2, 3. And now notice the sets used to have three elements, now they have two elements. If they added i, it would change it from 3 to 4. Okay, so notice it changes the, the size of the sets by exactly 1. Phi is a sign reversing involution. Notice if you applied phi twice, you'd get back to what you started. The fixed points of phi are all a and b 
such that A union B is equal to N and A intersect B is empty. Th that's the case where no I would exist. So what does this mean? This means that B is exactly N without A. They're complements of each other. Okay, and so now the question is, can we count the number of such pairs of, of subsets? Well, since A and B have the same size, and we need them to be complements of each other, the only way, or the only fixed points occur when the size of A and the size of B are equal to N over two. Okay, and so, right, since they're the same size and they should contain every single element, it only happens when they're half of the size of N. Well, this means that there's no fixed points when N is odd. Right, because n over 2, we would need to be an integer. And the only fixed points when n is even are exactly when you, you choose a, and then b is exactly its complement. So there's n, choose n over 2 fixed points when n is even. Okay, and we're basically done. Now let's just figure out what would the power or the sign of, of those fixed points be. So the sign of the fixed points, we just got to go, go up and check from our original formula. So the sign of our fixed points is negative one to the n over two. Okay, and again, this is only when we have uh, n is even, right? We said uh, when n is odd, there's no fixed points. And so we can conclude that the sum from k equals zero to n of n to the k times n choose k squared is equal to, well, it's equal to zero, the number of fixed points, if n is odd, and it's equal to negative one to the n over two, n choose n over two, if n is even. Let me know in the comments if you're able to follow along or if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.